Hello, this is a screen recording on how to uh, get into your settings of your blog and um, make it so that if somebody leaves a comment on your blog that you'll get an email alert. Okay, so you bring up your blog. Uh, in this case, I'm bringing up a course blog, onlinelearningcommunities.blogspot.com. And uh, over in the right-hand side of a blogger blog, this is, uh, you'll see sign in. So I click sign in. And we wait for that to load. And it's coming. And it's still coming. Well, that took a while. Okay, so uh What's, it's automatically logging in, but just, I don't know if you briefly saw that, but where my mouse was just then was to sign in. Uh, so you just put in your uh, username and your password, and, and then it lifts up all your blogs. Okay, so there's some of the blogs that I write to, so uh, here's online learning communities. Okay, there's the blog that I want to change the settings in. And so you have new post or posts, just to edit all past posts and stuff. Settings is where we want, and layout. So we'll go to settings. Okay, so under settings, there are these sub tabs, and there is comments. So if I click comments, and what I want to make sure is that anybody can comment. That just makes it easy to for people outside the blogger system to add comments to your blog. Um, all posts have new comments. And moving down the page. Some of this stuff I don't know really what it means, but um, and timestamps. Uh, just scrolling down here, because we've got anyone can comment. That also makes it easy for spam advertisers to um, to uh, send comments to your blog, advertising comments to your blog. So there's a this little feature here: show word verification for comments. Just click yes. So that means when everybody, when somebody wants to add a post, they can uh, add a comment. Sorry, to your post, they write in their comment, and then just before they can send it, there's this distorted, colourful letters that they've got to fill in, um, and spam advertising robots can't see that um, letter. So only you know people, real people, can read those letters. Um, sorry, it's quite late, I'm going to bed soon. But uh, show profile images on comments. Yes. Okay. Now. There's where you enter in your email address to get an alert when um, somebody leaves a comment. So you put your email address in there and then you save settings. And just while we're in the settings, there's another handy little feature here, just along here called email. If you click that setting there, and this is where you put your email address if you want to get a carbon copy of the post that you've just written to your blog. And that's quite handy if you're in the habit of forwarding on your blog posts to email groups and stuff. Um, some people like to communicate through their blog as well as through email um, forums, um, mainly because they might have a group of people that don't read blogs but only participate in email forums. There's lots of people like that. But then, on the other hand, they have groups of people who only read blogs. And that's pretty much the case that we're experiencing in our um, online learning communities uh, group. There are some people who prefer to communicate through blogs, so we, we write to a blog. But then there are some people who prefer, prefer to communicate in email forums, so we need to write to the email forum as well. So if you add your email address in here, that makes it easier to do both of those at the same time. You write to your blog, but then it will send a copy of what you've just written to your blog, including all the images and links. It will uh, send a copy to your email, and then you just forward it onto the email group. It's quite quick and easy. Okay, so you set in your email address there, and you press Save Settings. If you're thinking to send to your blog from your mobile phone, then you can create an email address for your blog in this little field here and uh, then you just save the email to your uh, mobile phone and uh, send the photos or content from your phone to that email address. Okay, and then of course you click Save Settings. 
So that was how to um, set your blog so that when somebody leaves a comment, you'll get an email alert, and that's in settings and comments. And also how to set it so that when you post a new article to your own blog, it will send a carbon copy onto your email, and that was under the settings email tab. Hopefully that's quite clear.